Sicilian Roast by Giuseppe Genco is one of the best Italian restaurants in Metro Manila today for its authenticity, quality of imported ingredients, and impeccable service. The first restaurant was started in Cebu in 2002 by Italian chef Giuseppe Genco, who has been a chef for 30 years at five-star hotels like the Manila Peninsula, Shangri-La, Sheraton, and Hilton, and his restaurant, Giuseppe Pizzeria and Sicilian Roast, was known for wood-fired brick oven pizzas and generous portions of homemade pastas. Sicilian Roast was franchised to Manila by Edmundo Vega and opened in 2016 at Legaspi Village in Makati. Managing the kitchen is Italian chef Dario Katarinic from Napoli, Italy, a pizzaiolo certified by the Associazione Verace Pizza Napoletana. After working in Italy, he worked in five-star hotels in the Middle East and Maldives before coming to the Philippines. This restaurant also serves as an Italian deli with assorted cheeses and charcuterie. Southern Italian cooking features the bright, lively Mediterranean taste that most people associate with Italian cuisine. While Northern Italy runs on butter, Southern Italy makes the most of its abundance of olive oils. Olives grow beautifully in the warm Mediterranean climates, but nowhere has olive oil become a greater culinary art form than in Italy. From deep green oils meant for salads to light yellow oils perfect for putting a golden crust on a piece of pan-seared fresh fish, olive oil is a southern Italian icon. You'll find it in the kitchen and on the table as a dipping medium for the region's crusty, open-textured breads. From salad greens to seafood, freshness is paramount to southern Italian chefs. Peppers, eggplant, and tomatoes thrive in the warm southern Italian climate, and they form the basis for some of the region's most beloved dishes. The wealth of great tomatoes led to the invention of Italy's most popular food worldwide, pizza. From their menu, we would highly recommend the Bufala Caprese, Sauté de Vongole, Insalati de Cesar, Broccoli Soup, Calabrese Pizza, Ricotta e Salame Pizza, Quattro Formaggi, Margarita, Linguini Vongole, Fettuccini Boscaiola al Tartufo, Risotto Porcini e Pancetta, and Tiramisu for dessert. In case you didn't know, I love clams. So for appetizer, I got the sautéed clams because they didn't have the buffalo mozzarella salad. So it's a very generous serving of clams served with toasted garlic bread. Mm. Clams are fresh. Now that is the real taste of the sea right here. Super crispy garlic bread. This dish is just delicious. This is a must order here at Giuseppe's. How do you like the garlic bread? It's good, I like it. Okay, so how did Papa teach you? Grab it by the shell, put a little bit of the soup in it. This is a little bit. Yeah, like that, that's good. Get the clam out. Wow, very good, very yes. Good. Okay, here you go, have the clam. Thank you. Yummy, right? Mm -hmm. 
Eat it. <laughs> Yummy, right? I don't know. You try. You tried if it's yummy. I think it's yummy, Masala. Wow, that clam dish was just divine. That has to be one of the best clam appetizers I've had in quite some time. So I'm definitely coming back for that. And what I love about it, zero clams didn't open. They were all fresh. Look at that, demolished. And even Alexandra loved it. Oh yeah. This time for appetizers, I ordered the Caesar salad. So this is with their homemade Caesar salad dressing. And as you can see, it's topped off with shaved Parmesan and crispy bacon and croutons. Actually, Caesar salad is one of my favorite salads because I can make that uh, Caesar salad dressing from scratch, which requires olive oil, uh, anchovies, raw egg and garlic and a few other items so let's have a bite make sure I get some bacon there mm. the lemon juice and anchovies come out that is a very tasty Caesar salad dressing highly recommended Guys, I have to say that is one of the best Caesar salads I've had in a very long time. And the reason being, the ingredients are so fresh, the dressing is unbelievably tasty. And aside from the romaine lettuce, they also have rocket arugula in there. Wow. I ordered the broccoli and pancetta soup. Adding a little bit of the croutons. A bit of that pancetta. Okay, there it is. The croutons. Mm. It's very creamy. And I love the crispy pancetta on top and extra crunch from the croutons. It's a great soup.
Next time we order the ricotta e salame pizza. So that's with salami and ricotta cheese. I'm adding some chili oil. I love the chili oil here at Giuseppe's. A little bit of chili flakes. Okay, so traditional Neapolitan style pizza, charred crust. Look at that charring on the bottom as well. Mm. Wow, that is a delicious Neapolitan pizza. Um, I've already ordered the calabresa here before. That's also very nice. But I'm super enjoying this this uh, salami and ricotta. That's just wonderful. Cheers. The Neapolitan style pizza here is so good that I'm back for more. So this time I got the Calabrese pizza. And Calabrese is a Italian salami from southern Italy, which is mildly spicy. It's a pork salami. Oh yeah, this pizza just looks gorgeous. Look at the charring, it's very consistent. That's what I like about the pizza over here. Got my chili oil. Oh yeah. Okay, let's dig in. not too spicy it's manageable I'd say it's like five degrees spicier than pepperoni the crust is chewy but yet a little bit crispy on the on the edges mm. super enjoying Up next, margarita pizza. This is also known as the cheapest Italian pizza because it's just tomato sauce, mozzarella, and basil. But sometimes the pizza with the least amount of toppings could also be the best. It's simple, it's light. Got my chili oil. Mm. That's super tasty. I ordered the linguini vongole e botarga. This is a classic uh, clam pasta with white wine and garlic and with cherry tomatoes as well. So I'm, I've always been a huge fan of vongole. I love clam pasta. I've actually already deshelled a few clams, so it's easier. So we got right full, I need to get, a, get some cherry tomatoes. Okay, just have the cherry tomatoes. Mm.
the noodles are al dente. I love linguine um, with vongole. You can also order spaghetti, but linguine I think is the best uh, noodle you can have with clams. It's a little bit fatter, so it absorbs more of that white wine and that clam flavor. So it's a true taste of the sea. I'm super enjoying, guys. Cheers. So that was a very generous serving of clams on my on my bungalow. 14 pieces. Only one didn't open. So that's that's okay. Oh, I'm super enjoying this dish. Can't tell you how much. And for dessert, we still have tiramisu. Hell yeah, baby. Sara got too full. She wasn't able to finish her truffle cream pasta with porcini mushrooms. I guess it's up to me, guys. <clears throat> but it won't be a problem because this pasta is just so flavorful. It's bursting with that truffle cream flavor. It's quite amazing. Most places don't put enough. But here, it's perfect and plus probably even more. Porcini mushrooms. Oh my gosh, aroma. <laughs> that was my initiative to order risotto. Porcini and... Pancetta, Italian bacon. It's not the usual arborio rice that they use for. I think it's not regular rice. It's not the. Uh, traditionally, it's the arborio rice that they use. How can you say one of the best risottos you've ever had? For sure.
Mm. It's so light and airy. Very nice. Mm, try In it. my country mm. we have mascarpone cheese and it tastes very similar. It's authentic. So mascarpone is Italian cream cheese. And their version here uses, uh, they make their own lady fingers. Yep, that's quite delicious. That's a very tasty dessert. Cheers. So after the end of the meal, one thing I like about this branch of Giuseppe's is they give complimentary shots of limoncello, which is a Italian uh, digestif. It's a lemon flavored liqueur. So cheers, love. It was super refreshing. It has a pretty strong kick to it, but that's awesome. Still having dessert. Thank you. How'd you like it, babe? Very nice. Okay, looks like round two, limoncello. I just found out that they make their limoncello in-house. They use Tanqueray gin and combine that with lemon peel and lemon juice and let that ferment over 10 days. And now it's ready to be served, but that's all in the chiller. This is super cold. It's extra powerful. Enjoying it. Cheers, Oksana. Cheers. Go, go, go. Pepper Lunch is a fast steak restaurant concept created by Japanese chef and inventor Kunio Ichinose in Tokyo in 1994. Currently, there are over 350 branches around the world. It was franchised to the Philippines by chef Jeroen Van Straden's Benmark Group Holdings, which opened the first branch at the Power Plant Mall in Rockwell, Makati in May 2008, and has since expanded to more than 35 branches in the Philippines. Today, we visit